The War in Indiana. This excerpt can be found on page 79 in your red My World Social Studies text. Although Indiana fought for the North, some Hoosiers agreed with the South. Governor Morton worried they might rebel. He also feared that Southerners across the Ohio River might invade Indiana. So, early in the war, in May of 1861, the Indiana General Assembly organized the Indiana Legion. This was a militia group. A militia is a group of people who are not in the military but are still trained as soldiers. A militia handles emergencies at home. One job of the Indiana Legion was guarding Confederate prisoners at Camp Morton. But this was not their only job. On July 8, 1863, John Hunt Morgan, a Confederate general, led troops on horseback across the Ohio River into Indiana. He hoped to steal horses and supplies. He also hoped to find people in southern Indiana who supported the Confederate cause. His actions became known as Morgan's Raid. The next day on July 9th, about 450 members of the Indiana Legion faced Morgan and his 2,400 men about a mile south of Cordon. The Battle of Cordon was the only Civil War battle fought on Indiana soil. The Indiana Legion fought bravely, but they had no battle experience and were outnumbered. They were quickly defeated. Morgan continued his raid, moving into Cordon that night and the then north to Salem the next day. Morgan next swept across to eastern Indiana and into Ohio, where he was eventually captured. He escaped from prison, but was killed in battle in Tennessee in 1864.